It's been called the corpse flower for the stomach churning smell it gives off when in bloom. And the Titan Arum is in bloom now down at the U.S. Botanic Garden here in D.C. We stopped by for a whiff. It's one of those plants that falls into the really cool plant court category because it just captures the imagination with its immense size. It's a huge, grotesque, gargantuan monster. Incredible kind of visceral quality and that, that gut-punching smell. That is already drawing thousands of people. It's called the Titan Arum, a Morphophallus titanum. We've been telling people for 2,000 and something days in a row since the last one we had, no, we don't have a stinky plant. Today we can say yes. This beast uh, has taken eight years to bloom and was grown from a cutting that was the size of a pea. Now it's topping six feet in height. The size is huge. I mean, I've never seen anything like this. This is the first time this particular plant has bloomed. To attain this size is both unusual and very exciting. This plant not only produces the largest unbranched flower in the world, but it also has the largest underground tuber in the world. So many of them have been weighed in cultivation over years, and I think the largest ones weigh in it's somewhere around, around 250 pounds. Just the King Kong of the floral world, which is fitting because it comes from the steamy, wet jungles of Sumatra, so it's entirely at home in a Washington summer. It will only be open for a couple of days, and at that point, uh, it will emit a stench that has been likened to a very dead elephant. Uh, we think a lot of people are literally holding their breath, waiting for it to open, the stench to pour out, and they'll be knocking at our door. So I had to come back while it's in bloom, and not to see the plant as much as to smell it. So can you imagine people want to come into the garden for a change, to smell something awful instead of the beautiful fragrances they would normally find here. It produces a retching odor. The trouble is, if it is a disadvantage, is it cycles in and out with the smell. So at the moment, it's actually quite odor free. Um, I thought it would smell a little bit more. Like, I don't really smell anything, so. Its worst smell occurs a few hours in the evening after it first opened, so that would have been the early hours of Monday morning. However, they do expect that Monday evening uh, the, the, the fragrance will erupt once again as the poor flower is, is searching for dung and carrion beetles that are destined never to come and pollinate this creature. <laughs> yeah, I, <got> it. <laughs> I think it's sort of the appeal of the grotesque. Uh, but we can still poke fun at members of the plant kingdom. It's just so freakish and weird, you know, it's beautiful. <laughs>